All right, guys, so this is the final version of the Eagle One Pro, and it's all black. I really like this uh, touch here. It looks so much better. And we have uh, red or blue arms in the back or in the front, so you can choose whichever color you like. You can also buy this in the older silver version, but I think like black looks so much better. This is by far the best scooter Varla produced today. I tested so many scooters and e-bikes on Park Avenue, New York City, and each block there are these big metal openings on the road by each light, and when you accelerate at high speeds, it shakes the old scooter or e-bike. You can see in this clip it's butter smooth. It absorbs all the shocks so well, the frame and the body, it's solid. It changes a lot of the look and uh, we don't have that uh, cheap uh, Varla sticker anymore, so it's all blacked out. Better cable management and uh, we have finally hydraulic brakes. I would like to see nut brakes here, I think uh, it will match better. Nice grips, the same as the previous model. You can adjust uh, the level you like and then uh, secure it for a more comfortable ride. And we have the same console, the same screen, and uh, I'll power it on right here so you guys can see the fab function. Also, you can program your cell phone so you can uh, power on and uh, start with your cell phone. It's only available for Android, uh, not yet for Apple phones, but still, it's a good uh, feature to have. And uh, I like these brakes more because you have this uh, curved lever, so we can do one finger operation, which is a big deal for me. It's much easier to go uh, more aggressive, have uh, faster speeds and more control. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, I think uh, these brakes are great. Uh, even mechanical ones are good. Uh, the hydraulics are a very nice touch, uh, and I think in this price range, uh, it's more welcome to have that option. But I think nut brakes, uh, if you wanna spend extra 150 to 100 bucks, uh, or maybe put Magoras would be so much better. On this final production version, you have the option to go in the B settings and activate the cruise control option. If you have, let's say, bike lanes or longer paths, you don't have to stop, you can activate that and extend your range and you can have a more comfortable ride. Performance-wise, you get on this model the fastest speed from Varla collection and the longest range. Actually, Varla Eagle One Pro is not the fastest in this class. V10 Plus has slightly higher top speed, but Varla Pro has the biggest battery and range in this price level, weight class and scooter group. I already did two videos, uh, very comprehensive, very detailed reviews of the battery, the motors, what's inside, the performance, uh, suspension, and it's a very good scooter. I think this model with the Segway P100S are the best options in 2022 right now. And I think if you want performance, if you want high speed, high power, crazy torque and acceleration, this is the one to go. If you're concerned about the weight, if you're a small person, if you cannot lift 90 pounds and you want to save weight and have less speed, more range, P100S will be a better option for that. But besides that, performance-wise, this is right in between uh, entry-level and the high performance. Uh, it's priced well, has amazing features and design. As you can see, guys, it's a really good-looking scooter. Besides the brakes, uh, so pretty much the same frame. I feel like it's more precision and a better cnc and better constructed here this uh, latch when I uh, unscrew it it's much smoother much easier compared to the previous uh, version which was uh, pre-production and another thing which I uh, noticed after several days of riding much more solid no movement in the bottom much much better of course uh, going fast and aggressively after like a week of reviewing previous model things get loose so always make sure you have uh, uh, all this uh, joints tight and you have uh, lock nut applied if you're going more aggressive and uh, as a maintenance for any electric scooter every one month to two months you have to double check the structure the frame all the nuts and bolts and make sure they're tight uh, but this out of the box feels sturdier and uh, the single change in paint makes it look so much better also the battery we have here 27 amp hour capacity versus 24. So previous uh, range test, I got 31.4 miles in range, going fast, aggressively with 215 pounds, my weight. This battery being three amps bigger should give me much more range. We'll test it out and see how much I can squeeze out of this. And right here, I'll test the top speed and see 
if there's any difference in settings or in performance. And uh, I think I reached uh, 41, 42 miles last time, so we'll see how much I can uh, get out of this uh, scooter. The same menu, we have uh, three speeds. Yeah, pretty cool scooter. I actually you guys like it a lot for $2,000. Uh, I think it's better than the set. Uh, you have more range, uh, more capacity. You don't have a uh, higher speed, but I think that's enough. 40 miles an hour, it's more than plenty. And I think I like more the design. Also here, suspension, we have spring coil and you can adjust uh, by uh, turning left and right this uh, ring here. But I think if you want to get more performance, this frame, can actually carry two people another thing which you cannot do with the segway p100s so if you want to upgrade spending let's say 200 bucks uh, uh, in the rear getting air shock would be so much better you'll get much smoother ride also on the front and i think if you have uh, between four to five hundred dollars extra and you want to upgrade the suspension this is a very good frame to do it will make it so much smoother so you can actually adjust more and have uh, much softer response faster slower depending if you're gonna go off-road or if you ride in the city but that's the option you can do on this model p100s uh, segway does not allow you that and you only have 1.5 to 2 inches of travel here is so much more guys i always wear a darker shirt dark blue dark gray black and it's so hot right now in your city 90 plus degrees super sunny super hot and i decided to buy white shirts and i got this basics beyond uh, it came packed like this very nice packaging and inside is like that. So let me show you, let me take one out. And what's cool about the shirts, they are stain repellent. So we'll test that. Very nice packaging. And uh, this one is gray. Very high quality, very nice. I'm actually wearing a white one right now. So the only thing that they don't have, which I hopefully they add the collections to have v-necks, that'll be so cool, but the fabric, very good quality, all the details are like, you know, really comfortable, it's 100% cotton and feels really cool, so um, compared to other shorts that I have, it's just a little bit different and a little bit nicer, so let's see if it stains. Yeah, look at that. No stains. Guys, I'll do it one more time. It's just hard for me to believe that this actually works so well. I'll pour just a little bit so I don't waste juice. And look at this. It's barely any like residue left. And it's right here by the neck. So let's say I'll push it off. Off the shirt. You can see here the little drips, drops. So I'll say I'll shake it and put it back. There's nothing there. It's pretty cool. And we have good fender covers a lot. And one more thing that I need to mention about the tires. You cannot open this uh, hub motor. Uh, the only way to change the tires if you get a flat is unscrew here, remove the motor out completely, and then you have to use those uh, tire levers that you use for cars and pry uh, the, the, the tire out and replace it. Or if you have, let's say, a nail, a puncture, you can use those car kits where you can just, uh, you know, pull through, remove the nail, and just stuff that uh, rubber inside, that the gluey rubber uh, string, and um, cut it and, uh, and fix so you can patch the tire much easier from outside without removing the, the motor with the tire. Top speed. Accelerates fast. The throttle has the same setting as the pre-production version. Intuitive and comfortable. No need for steer dampener here. Super stable without suspension adjustment out of the box. The throttle has no dead zone and engages immediately. At the top speed does not fluctuate. It stays stable at 42 miles an hour. If you're a lighter rider, you'll get way over 45 miles an hour. I think the bigger battery capacity reduces the sag and gives you the feel of more power and consistency. Range. I managed to cover in the city with lights and multiple stopping 36.5 miles with aggressive riding and hard braking. If you're riding outside of the city on the bike paths or areas without stopping, even at maximum speed you'll get more range. 
compared to the first review, I feel like Varla included the hydraulic brakes after I requested several things. If you'd like to see what else I requested from Varla, check the link down below in the description box to see the second video review. I still only got one charger in the package and I'll definitely need to get the second one for faster charging. It's a bigger battery pack and takes longer time. Overall, I like the improvements, more polished look and increased performance of the scooter. And I think this is the best option today in 2000 US dollars price range you can get with the discount code posted now on the website. I placed the link in the description box. Check it out if you find the scooter appropriate for your needs. Thank you for watching. Please share and smash that like button. That will help to get more EVs reviews for you. Always wear a helmet and ride safe.